Hello, my name is Barbara Lloyd, and I want to share with you some of the observations and reflections from my research with faithful and lively congregations. In this session, we are focusing on radical welcoming, being open to difference. We know that the context of the church in 21st century Canada is quite different than it once was. We are aware that we now live in a multi-religious and secular country where Christianity is no longer the state religion, nor the lens through which everyone sees the world. No longer can we count on Christian stories and holidays to shape the lives of all Canadians. In our society, fear of difference, whether skin color, religion, gender identity, or economic status, often fuels acts of exclusion. Sometimes that fear becomes part of church life too, as we huddle together in the safety of our familiar routine. Yet Jesus reached across huge divides to welcome and build relationships with a very odd lot. There was Zacchaeus, reviled by many as an unethical tax collector. Jesus welcomed and ate with him. And the Syrophoenician woman who called Jesus to he heal her daughter, even though she herself was not a Jew. And what about those disciples? A very ragtag group of hangers-on, I'd say, very susceptible to human weakness, including fear. Jesus taught and acted with compassion in contrast to the fear and hypocrisy he met. Sometimes Jesus surprised and shocked others by his actions and associations. And I believe that Jesus was also sometimes surprised by God calling him into relationship with so many different types of people. His vocation grew on him. His mission became more clear as he confronted these challenges and surprises. Following God's mission of loving in the world can be surprising for us too, as Christians and as a church. What seems clear in scripture stories and in the life of Jesus is that building God's realm of kinship in the now and the not yet involves radical welcoming, an openness to difference that brings surprises, like the presence of street people at the great banquet. We too are called to welcome those seen as least in our society, not only to welcome them into our churches, but to welcome them into the wider life of the community as full and participating members. Radical welcoming is more than simple hospitality to those like us. Radical welcoming requires intentionally choosing to be open to those we sometimes fear or with whom we feel uncomfortable. In my research, I discovered that congregations can become means of grace, healing, and new life by helping to build caring and welcoming communities inside and outside the church. Faithful and lively congregations showed their openness by welcoming differences of all kinds, by offering welcoming worship, by providing welcoming spaces, and by learning from their own welcoming heritage. When congregations offer radical welcome by being open to difference, they embody Christ's presence and experience the delightful surprise of the Spirit's dynamism in their midst. In the conversations that follow, I encourage you to consider how your congregation might stretch itself to widen its welcome by being more open to difference.